Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Develop Code Hunt. After it took me quite long in the last episode to figure out task 5 because it was actually a little more complicated to implement, so let's see what task 6 of this sector uh, keeps for us. So again we only have the default description for the little more complex tasks. Um, we get in an array of numbers and two numbers x and y and we're supposed to return an array of numbers which is currently the input array which is uh, obviously not the right solution. Okay so let's check the test results. If I get in an array of 33's with 30 and 31 as x and y I am supposed to return exactly this array. Interesting. If I get an array with a 34 and 33's then I am supposed, okay this is a search replace isn't it? All the 34's are replaced by 35's. Okay this is again a little more easy in fact than the last task at least implementation wise so I need a new array Actually, I don't even need a new array, right? I can just loop over the actual array and do an in place replacement. That is, if my theory about this thing is right. So if I say numbers i equals x, then numbers i is set to y otherwise it is kept and then numbers is returned and this appears to be the correct solution gives the full skill rating so I'm back on my flow again apparently on this task and we'll see how I do on the next one Wow, we're lifting up the dimensions to a two-dimensional array here we get in a one-dimensional uh, list of numbers and an int x and then I'm supposed to return something that has a second dimension. So let's check the test cases. In case there is only zeros in the list and I get x1 I'm supposed to return an empty array. In case there is 2 and a 9 and some zeros in here I'm supposed to return 0 and 1 in an array in the array and in case there is a 11 2 2 and then some zeros I'm supposed to return 0 1 and 0 2 in the arrays what's the rationale behind this one I don't see it immediately. So in both cases we get in an 11 which is kind of... Ah, okay. This is the indices whose sum, whose value sum is x interesting so z index 0 plus index 1 2 plus 9 is 11 in this case index 0 plus index 1 2 plus 9 is 11 and index 0 plus index 2 is again 2 plus 9 is 11 which is kind of interesting because I guess I have to try out all of the combinations and this is again a similar problem to the two, two tasks ago because I kind of have to construct the array of the right size dynamically. But we'll see if I can uh, get this to run. So my result is an integer array array result which is exactly this one down here by default because if there's no matchings I don't want to have anything 
in here. And in case I Okay, uh, but first, of course, I need to iterate over the array. So as long as I have another value, I'm going to go over this one here. This is walking over the array, and then I need to walk over all the remaining elements of the array. So I need a second counter, which actually starts at i plus 1 as long as j is smaller numbers dot length to get all the combinations and then my condition is if i plus uh, now if numbers i plus numbers j equals x then i want to do something namely i want to create a new int array that contains i and y uh, i and j sorry this is my int array new value whatever and again i want to create a copy of my deep array thing here so I want to say that the result is copy of the previous result with result dot length plus one like in the last task and then actually I can set result result dot length minus one so the last element to this new value this should work so I, but again I need the uh, helper thing here which does the copying copy off int array array input in new length and then I generate a new result array which is new int array of new length uh, sorry I forgot the array braces here and then I run over it int i equals zero i smaller input dot length i plus plus and result i equals input i return results this should do the job let's see if I got all the indices right apparently I forgot a semicolon somewhere yes in the first line actually I forgot it and I did some more mistakes here length is mistyped up here So if this fixes all the syntax errors, maybe we're lucky and find out if my solution is correct. And if I'm a little more lucky, I even get a full skill rating for this, even though this is quite complex code, actually. At least in comparison to the other task we had to fulfill or implement in this code hunt game so far. So we actually need a helper function and have like effectively tw 20 lines of code. But apparently this is still considered a good solution for this task. And we get the full skill rating. Pretty nice thing. And I think with this success I'm going to end this episode. See you next time. This is it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If not, drop me a comment or send me a message. Let me know what you think. And have a look at my channel and the other things I'm doing. Maybe there's something interesting for you. So this is goodbye for now and hope to see you next time.